Help oh hello everyone, this man united inside again on it, welcome back, Sir Alex Ferguson's opinion on Eric Ten Hag with Man United boss under immense pressure. Eric Ten Hag is still under pressure at Man United despite their win at Fulham on Saturday, and Sir Alex Ferguson has reportedly made his feelings clear. Sir Alex Ferguson has reportedly made his feelings clear regarding under fire Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag. The Dutchman is under considerable pressure at Old Trafford after his United side made their worst start to a season since 1989 when they lost at home against Crystal Palace in September. And a narrow win at Fulham on Saturday in the Premier League hasn't completely let Ten Hag off the hook. An added time Bruno Fernandes strikes saw United snatch all three points following miserable back-to-back 3-0 defeats against Manchester City and Newcastle United. The Red Devils again were lacking in quality but they eventually broke the deadlock and left with a clean sheet to boost. The result will have gone a short distance to appease disgruntled United fans who may be seeing Ten had given more time to build upon a third-place finish and EFL Cup triumph in his first season after it was reported that he has the unwavering support of Ferguson. A source at the The Sun claims, Eric has Sir Alex's unwavering support. He's been hugely supportive of Eric since he arrived at the club. Man United fans, do you agree with Sir Alex Ferguson's opinion on Eric Ten Hag? He's impressed at the job he is doing and, in particular, the way he has taken on big decisions. Sir Alex, like everyone else, wishes results were better this season. But he thinks those pointing at the manager and calling for a change are wrong. Ferguson thinks he's shown the kind of character and mentality required to turn the club around and he firmly believes Eric deserves time, like he got, to make a success of things at the club. If consulted, that's a position he would be prepared to make clear to any new investors who come into the football club. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is set to take over footballing operations at Old Trafford once his 25% stake investment is confirmed. And it appears that Ratcliffe is on the same page as the Scotsman, with the Ineos chief confident Ten Hag can change United's fortunes around. Ferguson is also said to be happy with the decisions that Ten Hag has made, including Marcus Rashford's recent partying situation and the ongoing Jadon Sancho expulsion. Giving the Dutchman time just as he was afforded when he made the switch from Aberdeen 37 years ago on Monday. The source added, Sir Alex had to make decisions all. The time during his years as manager which were difficult and risked putting him on a collision course with his players. But he never shied away from doing what he felt was right for the club. This is a trait Eric is showing too, especially with the way he handled the recent Marcus Rashford situation. Marcus Rashford tells Man United fan channel to stop spreading malicious rumors Marcus Rashford has told a Manchester United fan channel to stop spreading malicious rumors over his future. Popular fan channel The United Stand published a video on Monday titled, Rashford's Future in Doubt, with one contributor questioning his commitment to the club. Rashford was not involved in United's 1-0 Premier League win at Fulham on Saturday as manager Eric Ten Hag said the England forward had picked up an injury and failed a fitness test on the morning of the game. Please stop spreading malicious rumors, Rashford wrote on social media in response to the United Stand video. Rashford scored 30 goals last season, but his form has dipped this season amid United's own struggles. The 26-year-old has scored only once in 14 appearances across all competitions and was criticized by Ten Hag after going to a nightclub party. Following the 3-0 defeat to Manchester City at Old Trafford on October 29th, Ten Hag said the post-derby night out was unacceptable but Rashford was involved in the Carabao Cup tie with Newcastle three days later, coming on as a 65th-minute substitute in another 3-0 home defeat. United are next in action on Wednesday, away to Danish club Copenhagen in the Champions League. Manchester United midfielder Bruno Fernandes is in demand from ambitious Saudi Pro League sides looking ahead to next summer. Bruno Fernandes, the Manchester United captain, netted the winner against Fulham to ease the pressure on Eric Ten Hag and it was a real captain's moment from the Portuguese midfielder. However, Fernandes has struggled at times this season to produce his best form, along with the rest of the Manchester United team. The goal against Marco Silva's side will surely help with his confidence in front of goal. Despite this, it has now emerged that Saudi clubs are keen on the former sporting Lisbon midfielder. Fernandes talks according to Rudy Galetti, PIF, 
Public Investment Fund are looking at what big European players they can sign for the Saudi Pro League next summer after the successful spending spree of this transfer window. He states that Fernandez is the man who is being lined up by the Saudi sides. Representatives from the Saudi Pro League plan to hold talks with the Portuguese midfielder towards the end of the season to gauge his interest in moving to the Middle East. However, despite his poor performances this season, it seems unlikely that the midfielder would move away from Old Trafford. He signed a new contract with United back in 2022. Fernandez Future Fernandez joined United in 2020 and has been a superb addition to the club, arguably the best signing that has been made in the last decade. It would be a big surprise if the midfielder decided to leave Old Trafford after four years at the club. As captain, with a new contract, he is one of the most important players for Ten Hag. Why he would give all of this up for a move to the Middle East? At 29 years of age, the midfielder is in the prime of his career and moving to Saudi Arabia, despite the influx of players and money, would be a huge step back for his career. In our opinion, they have no chance of convincing Fernandez to leave. He is here to stay at United for the foreseeable future. Eric Ten Hag has urged Manchester United fans to stick with his players, claiming they are heading in the right direction despite their poor start to the season. Ten Hag has found himself under fire at Old Trafford after a slow start to the season which sees his side currently in 8th place and 6 points off the top 4. United suffered disappointing back-to-back 3-0 defeats against Manchester City and Newcastle United in the Premier League and Carabao Cup respectively. That ramped up the pressure on the Dutchman. His side responded at the weekend though, with Bruno Fernandes' late winner earning them a much-needed 1-0 win away against Fulham. And now the 53-year-old has sent a message to fans as he picked up an award at the Football Writers Association Awards night for his performances last season. I'm sure we are heading in the right direction and I'm happy to be here and to get this reward, Ten Hag said in his acceptance speech to the Northern FWA. We are in the project and when you are in a project, you know, ups and downs in this moment we are in a down, but I know in this, football is like life. It's not only going always the way up, and in the bad moments it's about how you stick together and how you continue the project. Despite their stuttering start to this campaign, United enjoyed a fruitful first year under the former Ajax boss. United picked up their first trophy since 2017 with a 2-0 win over Newcastle in the Carabao Cup Final and also reached the FA Cup Final where they fell to a 2-1 defeat against City. However, Ten Hag stresses that such successes last season are not enough and said his team are targeting more silverware in the future. What we achieved last year with the Carabao Cup, it was small, and we achieved an FA Cup Final, which still hurts, but it's not enough at Manchester United, he added. We have higher targets and we have to go and get there.